we're going to undo one and two. These screws are corroded. This screw doesn't match at all. So I'm going to have to make a plan. Um, I'll either polish these screws up or I might replace them with button head cap screws that are very, very similar and, and also very handsome fasteners, very handsome screws. Notice how this piece is now loose and there's a lot of dust in there, but that's entirely normal. And we've got two more screws here. And I'm probably going to put this face panel back on, but let's just see if there's anything holding this. Always be very, very careful if you haven't done all of this sort of thing before. Be careful, folks. You can cause a lot of damage and ruin something. It's holding it in place. Be careful, these plates bend very easily. And there it is. Caution to prevent electric shock, do not remove front panel. With a dry brush, you can tip out the dust. Don't use a wet brush at this stage of the game, but you can dust it out. We'll clean this box properly once we remove the entire deck from the box. And be careful. Don't breathe the dust in, but maybe don't use an air compressor unless you have some measure of control over it. And you do not ever want to get oil onto these rubber wheels and these surfaces. So yes, you want oil in, you want oil in there, you want oil in there in certain places, but you want to use oil extremely sparingly. And in fact, I can recommend that you put oil. This little item came adrift. This goes over there, this way, around your headphone plug. These are your microphone plugs. And what you'll notice is now with this brush has picked up a bit of grit and it's making things a little bit dirty so we can take the cloth, give things a bit of a wipe to get rid of that dusty, dirty effect. But I think this machine doesn't look bad or old inside at all. Wow, I have to say this looks better than I thought it would. So we can still see slight evidence of where that sticky stuff was on the fascia. You can just see a shadow of where it was. Be careful, um, you can be tempted to clean that away completely and it might be permanent and you might mar and damage the surface, but I'll give it another try just with uh, soapy water and things. But be careful, you, you don't wanna be so aggressive on the cleaning that you end up destroying the whole face plate because this is the this is the black face version. They're quite scarce and they're rather appealing. It's kind of like that. That's like a black black. This is like a charcoal and I have an amplifier with the same color face. To get the recorder out of its box, uh, there's two screws on the bottom here. Don't lose them. We also need to release these chassis screws here. It also doubles up as a foot. And I recommend if you have a 3D printer, make new bigger feet. So when you lay it flat, you don't have to unplug the plugs because if these are short, the plugs hit the table and bend over and break the plugs. Um, what you can also do is you can make a special foot that integrates half of a squash ball. And the squash ball uh, is quite a nice thing. It's rubbery and it, it's I'm missing from a turntable. Then I make a special foot and cut a squash ball in half and that gives me a bit of um, vibration isolation and these tape recorders were actually designed to be used in the vertical or the horizontal orientation so now we can carefully don't let it fall we can actually pull the machine out here 
And there's the box. I'm going to take this outside tomorrow and dust it out. And then I'm going to, and this is the mechanism. And you know what, apart from some dust, it looks absolutely fabulous. Here's the, this is the main flywheel. So there's the motor. This motor you'll notice is a bit smaller than the motors in the 17 series. And here's the electronics. And yeah, it's a, it's a little bit bunched up and quite tightly done. But, um, and be careful not to bend like I'm balancing this thing now on the corner of the chassis and I'm being very careful not to bend the points at which, where you mount the reels. And I'm looking at these circuit boards and they look perfect. They don't look like they've ever been worked on. I can't see any signs of destruction. And then this is your playback left, your playback right, your record left, your record right. And here are your adjuster trimmers. And we'll get into that when we get there. And here's your, these are your, your uh, record level settings. So it's all here, it's in beautiful condition. I'm so pleased. So what I was talking about a moment ago is don't, if you put the machine down the other way up, don't rest it on these. If you bend these, that's troubles. And these are your clutches for your take up and your rewind. These stick out beyond the chassis. So you need to remove these so they don't get bent or damaged. We need to remember which way that went in and then we're going to remove this one and then these are locators they are trims but they also locate the machine so it fits properly in the box and you've got to be super careful when a when a screw is bound up like that put a put a drop of oil maybe into the situation and don't let the head of the screwdriver slip in the head of that screw because it destroys the screw head so you push in remember these little there we go these little bits of trim cannot you cannot replace this but you can replace a screw so that's the tape recorder folks so definitely going to call it quits now and we will continue in the next video